sometimes in life there are times when you can try to pull out all the stops uh you can try to entice a person as hard as you can you can try to persuade them but if they have their mind set up and made on something then that's it it's really nothing you can do uh, and it seems as if that's what happened with bobby wagner uh and the ravens um it just seemed as if his heart was set on playing from LA since he's from over there getting to play the Seahawks two times a year and we ain't really got to go through his whole situation just how great of a situation it is um but it, his heart was set so there was nothing the Ravens could do um and we, we got the details of both deals tonight both the the Rams deal and the Ravens deal and we knew that it was they were going to be competitive deals. I mean, Josina Anderson did say that the Ravens offered Bobby Wagner a competitive offer. So if you're going to be competing with somebody, then it has to be right there for what their offer is. Whether it's close, whether it's higher and close, whether it's lower and close, it's going to be close to whatever the deal is that he ended up going with. And we found out that it definitely was. So first, let's go over his deal with the Rams. So, it says, it's, a, it's really, a, it, yeah, it was announced as a five-year, $50 million deal with the possibility to get up to 65 mil with all the incentives. But, you know, when they announce all of that, getting those incentives is hard. And a lot of teams, they will take the, that player out of the game at different times. They will cut down that player's playing time so that player doesn't reach those incentives so they don't have to pay him. But a whole nother conversation for a whole nother day. Anyway, Bobby Wagner's deal with the Rams uh, it's basically for the first two years, it's a two year deal worth 17.5 mil base with a chance to make it 23.5 mil if he hits the incentives. It's, it hasn't been said what those incentives are, but if he hits those incentives, all of them, then it's, it's 23.5 million dollar deal over two years. But in the first year, he gets 6.5 mil. He gets 6.5 mil, uh, but he gets 10, 10 mil fully guaranteed. But with the Ravens, so all right, so the base of the deal, the base of this deal is a $17.5 million deal for two years. And it's 10 mil fully guaranteed. That's the base now. The base is the, the minimum that the deal is worth. Now, I ain't trying to make any Ravens fans go through the pain again or whatnot, but I know it's going to hurt a little bit. But the Ravens, they offered more than that for a base deal. They offered a two-year $18 million deal, fully guaranteed. So no if, ands, or buts. No, oh, well, if you hit these incentives. No, 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 no. Two years, 18 mil, fully guaranteed. So they tried. They tried. Now, while the incentives, they, they kick it past the Ravens deal. You know those incentives are going to be crazy hard for him to reach. Now, it's weird that he actually has some incentives to where if he hits them, then he can opt out of the deal and become a free agent. I've never heard of a deal constructed like that before. But at the same time, it's the Rams. So, you know, they, 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 they good with it. They are great with it. And they always, if they want somebody, like we've seen time and time and time again, if they want somebody, they will find a way to get them. But for how this went down, not mad at the Ravens at all. Because they tried. And they actually, like, really tried. They didn't lowball Bobby Wagner. They, they didn't try him. They ain't try to okie up. No. Fully guaranteed. And you may be wondering, where did, where, did, where did they get this money from? Where did this bread come from? How they often fully guaranteed? They, oh, oh. <laughs> we ain't got to talk about the cap because you know what the cap is, right? Oh, yeah. Y'all know you know. But this lets me know a couple of things. That one... The Ravens are willing to, to fork over some money. They're willing to. Now, I want to see if they're going to be willing to do it on offense. But this lesson, I mean, Marcus Williams deal let us know that these may be some new Ravens. Maybe they may be changing their philosophy. Again, it has to be proven on offense first, but this is a step somewhat in the right direction. So I'm not mad at that at all. Because, again, Bobby Wagner, phenomenal player, Great player, all pro player. He would have definitely been an upgrade for the Ravens. And he would have helped make everybody's job that much easier. Um, but, again, he didn't want to come here. 
So everything that a, a lot of y'all was saying as far as feeling like Bobby Wagner used the Ravens as leverage, he did. He did for sure. Everybody feeling like Bobby Wagner probably never even wanted to come to the Ravens. He probably always wanted to go to the Rams, but just wanted to use the Ravens so he can get a better contract from the Rams. Yeah, he probably did. Yeah. So, and I don't blame. It's the business. It's the business. And in business, people going to do what they got to do so they can take care of their pockets. And Bobby Wagner, his pockets are definitely uh, taken care of. Um, so yeah, Ravens are trying. So hopefully EDC is not like, oh man, I lost that on another one. Come on, man. You know what? I'm done. Hopefully he's not like that. I don't think he will be, but hopefully he's not. Um, so in other news, <laughs> I guess in somewhat brighter news or better news, um, Rashad Bateman, Rashad Bateman is ditching the number 12 and he decided he is going to go to number seven. So shout out to anybody that bought a Bateman jersey. Um, I I feel for you. I'm I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Uh, your 12 jersey is officially a throwback. Um, something that Jonah Schaefer brought out, and I was like, oh yeah, that is true. Um, all the Ravens, their first round picks, they they all keep changing their numbers. Patrick Queen went from first 48 to six. Uh, Bateman now going from 12 to 7. And, of course, Hollywood, he went from 15 uh, to 5. So, that's that. That, that, little, that little 7 is going to look clean, though. It's going to look clean. I like it, man. Um, but now we just need Lamar to change his number from 8 to 1. If we get that jersey changed, then that will be the best feeling in the world. And y'all know why. Well, if you know, you know. If you don't know, then you're probably like, why would he change his number to one? If he changes his number to one, every single Ravens fan will be so happy. I promise you. <laughs> so hopefully next year he changes his number uh, to one. Um, but again, tomorrow, Liars Luncheon. Y'all stay on the lookout for that. Uh, that should be a lot of fun. Um, teams are starting to come back to their facility. They're starting to do the, start their off seasons already. That's that's like crazy, man. That's in, in this April. So um, obviously ain't gonna be nothing too physical, or anything like that. Probably just meetings and stuff. Them checking on injured players, seeing how they're doing, rehab is doing and whatnot. I think Ravens starts in uh, maybe about a week and change, so maybe two weeks. I forgot when. It's just, just a little later on, um, but they'll be coming up soon. Um, Shout out to Ravens' former fullback. Oh, man, I, I remember just, I remember when the Ravens signed him as an undrafted rookie free agent. I was just so hyped thinking about all the possibilities of what could have been. This dude got some crazy speed, got some physicality. Yeah, he was playing against a lot of smaller schools and whatnot. But, hey, if he wasn't doing it against the smaller schools, then that would have been a real a bigger problem. And I'm talking about Bronson Rick Steiner. Um, but he is uh, tonight on WWE, on Raw. He's going to be going up against Dolph Ziggler for the NXT Championship. So this dude, yeah, it didn't quite work out with the Ravens. But he said, you know, okay, I got my fallback option. My fallback option is going to still be in sports entertainment. But I would just go to WWE. And it's been working out for him quite well. Every time I see his name pop up on my feed or something like that, I'm like, oh, okay, there he goes, man. There he goes. And I, I just remember, man, I remember when we signed him, I was just thinking like, oh, man, let's do him in this offense with that speed that he got at the fullback position. Then you got the, the possibility of having a Patrick Ricard line up in front of him and him line up behind Patrick Ricard and Patrick Ricard leads the way for him and Patrick Ricard knocks somebody over and him as a fullback, but with good speed, he can knock somebody over too, but with the ball in his hand. Oh, man. I just envision him catching passes out of the backfield, maybe him catching some screens and whatnot. Oh, man. But when the Ravens cut him, I was like, man, he he never even really got a shot. Never even really got a shot. Didn't, didn't even get to play on one preseason game. Nothing. They cut him well before the preseason. I was like, oh, man. But, yeah, man. Anyway, team keep it clean. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Um, and, again, shout out to the Ravens on this one. Because y'all know, I, I will gladly say if I don't like 
something that Red Ravens do. Y'all already know. Um, but this one, not mad at them at all for it because again, they they tried, they tried. Cause we know with contracts, you can hear all these terms and this and that. Oh, this contract is worth six years. 250 million you can hear that and oh yeah it's pretty it's nice that that pretties the contract up but what you always have to look for is the guaranteed money because the guaranteed money is the money that you're going to get no matter what and that's the most important thing so if if you ever hear of a contract oh just, and these are just examples oh this contract is for five years 250 mil yeah, that, is, that sounds really nice, but always listen out for what the guaranteed money is. And with the Ravens off two years, 18 mil, fully guaranteed. The guarantee is more than what the Rams offer. The Ravens, like, they really tried. They really tried to make this thing happen, but just didn't work out in their favor. And Bobby Wagner told them, sorry, guys, but I'm out.